Okay, well, this wolf got caught up in this trap. I usually set my traps about 30 yards apart now because uh, a lot of times are even 50 yards because they land up going, right? So this one was hooked right here into there and he is right there. Now, you look, you look, here's the drag, right? He goes, he wants to go. There is the drag. Yeah, he wants to get out of here already. He's stuck in the corner, but his hook is hooked on that trap. If you can see it, you just seen it move. And he is wanting to go. And he might be able to get a little bit further yet. Now I loosened him up a little bit. I think the bite trees and all that. Yeah, and it's a, it's a little crossover here that I usually come across for, for that. And it's back. All right, so this one wants to get in the back there. Yeah. He's not there, eh? Yeah. And so now this is the slough system back here. That's the way it goes like that. And uh, and he came from way on the back there. He came all the way till here on that drag. That's a little bit of the open area again. Yeah, but it was a good spot. So, uh, yeah. My hands are freezing cold. Yeah. Starting to turn red. Wait till he turns his head a little bit and then open it up. Wait, okay. Oh, this way. Yeah. He doesn't want to really move now. He wants to sit and relax. There we go. There we go. Done. All right. So, been a very good. A very good trapping day. We haven't checked nearly all of them yet, but we had six traps here and we caught two out of six. And uh, and here's Janie, just waiting for the wolf to go. Yeah. He's done for. Yeah, he's done for. Yeah. And a good wolf. Yeah. Another deer, elk, and moose killer out of the way. Yeah, I need to get out here more doing it, but... Yeah, okay. Anyways, we'll check out and give you more video and uh, we'll tune in later.